In this mock draft, we trade heaven and earth to get up to number two and get Kevin O'Connell's guy, Will Levis, at quarterback. We are back again with another mock draft. I don't even know which version of the mock draft this one is. We've done so many on the channel, but we're inching closer and closer to draft week. These are getting more and more exciting. I cannot wait for Thursday. So without further ado, let's jump into another 2023 Minnesota Vikings three round mock draft. But before we do that, I want to let everybody know to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell get notifications for our videos because we have a draft party Thursday. We got everybody in here, but Purple and Skull gang, all everybody's going to be here. We got Justin Jefferson rookie card giveaway, PSA 10. Uh, we got a couple guests, Matthew Hatchett, ex-Vikings wide receiver, and Daryl Madison, uh, Alexander Madison's pops. So definitely jump in. It's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, let's jump right into this draft right away here. So for this one, we're going to try something going off the going off the rumors here that A, the Texans aren't necessarily sold on any of the quarterbacks and are willing to either take the best defensive player or trade back. And the rumors, of course, that the Minnesota Vikings are interested in moving up the top three to grab Will Levis. So we're going to experiment with that a little bit and let the first pick roll off the clock, see what Carolina decides to do and go from there. Bryce Young, Bryce Young makes a lot of obviously. sense. So I don't what's it going to cost? To get up number so two. to move up to number two, obviously this pick, obviously this pick, obviously this pick. Um, know what? Let's we're gonna throw a player in. Let, here. Let's okay. So like they need de they need defensive Defense. help. Let's see if they would maybe take a Zadarius Smith in this spot. I mean, I'd hate Ooh. to. Okay, okay. So three ones take away a one. Mm, okay, no, they need the three ones. This is a this is a long way to go. I understand that. So. I can see why they would want three ones. All right, we're going. We're just player. doing three. Oh, this is. I would rather do picks. three ones and Zedarius as opposed to three ones and Daniil. And a couple so. twos. I'm going to try this one. Try two twos. No. Okay. All right, we're doing this. We're, no, I mean, this is if this is what it's going to cost to get go up and get your guy, then that's they just what it's going to cost. It. They are just. Round four. Geez. These guys aren't doing it. Okay, there we it are. It took us We're three first-round picks, two fours, and Zadarius Smith, but we are at pick number two. I mean, okay, whatever. All positions, grab a quarterback. Will Levis. So are we doing it? We're going with the We're Will Levis? Levis. Oh, Following man, this rumors. hurts my soul Will a little Levis. bit. Come on We're down. Following the rumors. Are. This is you for are. the rumors. Don't judge the, me. The next franchise quarterback <laughs> of the Minnesota. Like, so we're gonna watch I, how this rolls out, and we ooh, might Tyree have to Wilson, trade back CJ up. CJ Stroud falling to seven. Devin Witherspoon, Christian Gonzalez. Who we got? Okay, Peter okay, Skronsky. Okay. Packers take Lucas Van Ness. Joey Paul Jr. Nolan Smith. Darnell Wright. Bijan Robinson. Bijan to the. Oh, See what they do with our pick. Deontay Jordan Banks. Addison right there. Kansi. Kansi. Okay, that's fair. Quentin so basically, Johnson. they got Zadarius Smith and Kalijah Kansi. Flowers. Really what did they do with their number? What did they do with number twelve? Who? Oh, the, Houston. The Houston. What they do with Peter Skaronski? Okay. Trying to protect Davis Mills over there, I guess. All right. All right. Let's see how oh. far we go down here before we want to get up in the second round. So, guys that I like, I still like Hyatt in the second for wide receiver. Obviously, we need defense. There's a lot of stud linebackers that I think are going to go in the second round. Um. Otherwise, we can't see a, a big board, so it's kind of hard to remember exactly who's all available. But I think but I think all I think all the corners that we like are gone. I, I think Emmanuel for Forbes is kind of the last one there. Let's uh, just maybe let a few more picks roll off here. Will McDonald headed right okay. there. Okay, so Houston gets headed to the top of the second. That's Jamar Gibbs. Jamar, ooh, Jamar Gibbs. Why did the? I feel like John every Michael year. Schmidt. I feel like every year the Seahawks take right, a I'm moving uh, up for I'm moving up for Hyatt. Drew Sanders. No, Hyatt I guess went, I'm not. I guess I'm not. Atlanta. Packers take a villain. I'm going right here. Washington. They don't want that pick. See what we and can Buare do. Buare right? goes to the Patriots. Mm, they want that pick. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough. Yeah, it's gonna be tough yeah. now. Or who is this? Washington? They don't got a guy for sure, you know. We put a little Delvin Cook action in here. Yeah. Man. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but we got to give up a lot to get up there. Boom. What? 
I guess a future second. Yeah, a future I, second. We got to do what we got to yeah. do in this draft. We're, we're destroying our future, guys. This is what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> if you want that quarterback of the future, this is offer trade. We are eight. on the clock. Who? So this is the hard part. Is we didn't know who we had available. Uh, Felix. I mean, I'm a big fan of Felix Uzoma. I like I thought, him. Uh, I think Jack my Campbell, favorite, of course, is a position of need. My favorite, Tuli, 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 or however you pronounce his name, he's out there still. I like him. He kind of. I like Henley a lot. I, if it's me, I go with Jack Campbell here. Okay, I'm fine with that. I like Jack Campbell here. Obviously, um, 91.9 PFF grade last last year. Pass rush grade, which isn't a big deal. We don't. I mean, we need a middle linebacker. We're not worried about the pass rush coverage grade. 92.9. That's what we're worried about. Obviously, 87 run defense. Um, this this guy's a stud, and he's a guy that can come in and be a a year one starter. I think. And we've had. And I mean, I think we've had pretty good luck with non pass rushing middle linebackers out of Iowa. Just yeah. maybe. Just yeah. maybe. Maybe. Chad Greenway. Maybe. Chad just Greenway, maybe. baby. This is, we're doing oh, it again. Let's, Boom. Let's add the next Got one. The next, Chad, the, next, the next Chad Greenway in Jack The next Andrew. Chad Greenway. Said it here first. Trenton Simpson just went. Oh, he was out there as well still, too. Okay. Yep, yep. So let's see. I know. I, the, mean, I would t- like, I mean, if we could somehow find a way. What are we? 26 picks. I don't. There goes Thule. I don't think that uh, Keanu Benton. There he goes. There I, he say, goes. I don't think Keanu Benton makes it. Henley. Oh, well, Henley is going to be a steal if he goes, goes in the third Ika, round. Ika a lot. We might have to see who's there for a wide receiver. Yeah, maybe. We need to get. We need to get. Oh, uh, Will mm-hmm. Levis, another wide receiver. Yeah. Nick Herbig. I like him a little lean, but overall. All right, we're coming. Nathaniel Dale. Dell's gone. Dang it. That's what I was kind of hoping was going to be Hodges there. Tomlinson is still there. So okay. we got Michael Wilson, A.T. A. Perry. Perry. Right? Average draft position, 87. And guess what we're picking? 87. 87. That's just meant to be. If I'm, I really, I do like Michael Wilson. He has some injury history, but A.T. Perry, man, you can't go with size and speed with this guy. Like 6'4, six, 6'5, six, runs sub 4'4. Four, four. Mm-hmm. Who's left or for? Sub four, I mean, five. I guess sub four, we four. already saw the top couple corners. I know Hodges Tomlinson is still there. We take him a lot though, so I'd like to maybe. Yeah, I say let's let's go for the wide receiver. I say let's take At Perry. We got a we got a linebacker. Yeah, absolutely. So now we'll just let the rest of this picks roll off here. Boom. Kind of look over. So I do don't think us. our grades are going to be great because we <laughs> gave up not. heaven and earth to get up and get Will, Will Levis. And as Will, I mean, to be honest, like if I if am I going to trade up and get Will Levis at number two, if it was me. No, I pick Anthony Richardson or Shroud over Will Levis, but we're doing, we're following what Vikings Twitter is talking about right now. Um, I mean, and it's not rumor, even just so. Vikings Twitter; it's just the the straight it's up a big rumor, rumor in that, general. But it's that, just popping on on Vikings Twitter. Wow, Kevin O'Connell has been in love with a guy like Will, has loved Will Levis for a while now. He has some inside information on him from his old uh, offensive coordinator at yep. uh, at Kentucky. Uh, obviously, he's got everything he wants: six three, two thirty. Uh, the guy can run. He's got a cannon of an arm. He has the he has he has some confidence. Some people may call it arrogance, but I do think there's a lot of confidence there with a guy like Will Levis. And I mean, did we trade a lot to get him? Yes. But if you want to move up and get your quarterback of the future, sometimes it's yeah. gonna cost you a pretty penny, and it definitely did. Um, it's gonna you know, cost the Vikings are never sure. gonna have the Vikings are never gonna be able to have a guy like that unless we really suck. And just with Justin Jefferson, I've said it for a long time. With Justin Jefferson, that can't be the plan because Justin Jefferson wants to win. You need to have a future plan to entice him to stay. And I do think giving him a young guy like Will Levis, uh, I think I think he is more. I think he's a has a better shot than Richardson to be ready to go by next by 2024. Uh, just because I do feel like there's not as much development that needs to go on there because I, I think he is a better pocket passer. Um, so, I mean, I think this is the best case scenario for a guy that can sit and learn behind Kirk for a year and take over the reins in 2024. Yeah. I mean, I just want a quarterback um, at this point. Like, if we got, I, I preferably don't want Levis at two, but if we end up with Levis, we end up with any of those four quarterbacks, I'll be happy that we went to a different direction. And uh, like we've said before, with KOC, like knowing that they like him a lot, whoever they pick, I feel confident in their ability to, to, uh, to choose quarterbacks and things like that, especially Kevin O'Connell who was an old quarterback yeah, absolutely. and offensive coordinator absolutely. and everything. So he has all that stuff and Kevin O'Connell's uh, leadership ability and, you mm-hmm. know, the person exactly. he is in general. So I feel confident if he goes up, he likes Will Levis as a person and as a, just a player, which is yeah. what's yeah. most important for us. But exactly. if you love a guy, crazy Kevin O'Connell, <laughs> go get him, get your guy, get the future franchise quarterback. 
And that's what we did in this mock draft. What do you guys think of our mock draft? Drop the, those thoughts down in the comment section, and we'll see you guys next time on the GG Sports Podcast. Skull Vikes.